Hey guys, it's me, Foxy Kins, and today I'm going to show you how to revamp your WebKit signature. I'm so sorry. I can't film without him sawing on the roof. We're here to fix dryer fur, or matted fur in general, and um, airbrushing, which I've already showed that in a different video. So if you want to go that, I'll put the link in the description, but today we're going to be washing him and fixing his dryer fur. So, let's go. So you want to go to your bathroom and use a sink and you want to make the water really warm, but not too warm. And you want to use some kind of conditioner, any kind of conditioner will work, just some kind of conditioner and a rag. And this idea was from Dakota Kins. This is all the credits to them. They gave me um, permission to use it too, to give it to you guys. So I really appreciate them. If you want to go like them on Instagram mainly or subscribe to them on YouTube, they're very, very lovely and nice. And this helped me so much. So you're gonna to wanna to put the conditioner on the webkins, obviously, and rub it in. And what we're going to do is, we're gonna just basically wash them. And what you do with a rag is you rub in the spots that are like really bad, which was all over him. So that's what I did. I just did it all over him and it worked very, very well. <laughs> and also this does make your webkins smell very, very nice. If it didn't smell, he kinda of had a smell to him, but it wasn't really bad. So, after that, you're going to want to throw your towel down and make sure the water is all wringed out of him. Because if not, I don't want him peeing all over the place. So, you're going to want to make sure you got all the water wringed out. And when you put him on the towel, just basically rub him, rub him, rub him, basically. That's what I did. And then, yeah, just do what I'm doing. So, if you want to make the process even more faster, you want to get a hair dryer and dry him off. It kind of works. So that's what we're doing here, is getting all the spots and drying them off. So, yeah, I'm really bad at voiceovers, I apologize. <laughs> so after we did that, he looks a little bit crusty, but that's okay. He's still a little bit damp. So you're gonna brush down, you're gonna brush this way maybe, but mainly up and down is what we want to aim for. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do that. Um. I would really do it when he's fully dry. He's kind of like just damp. I don't really know if that makes a difference if he's fully dried or not. But, um, I've done this to my offset. She turned out pretty good. So we're gonna do this to him. So now we're just brushing him. And if you want to know more about that, again, the link is down below of how to brush him properly. So halfway through my method, I found that he has a hole right here. By the muzzle. So I'm gonna just see if we can fix that. So I'm not going to brush anymore on his face, but I will continue brushing on his um, body. And I also want to say, when you're brushing the face, make sure you cover the eyes and the nose. It will scratch up the eyes. I've learned that the hard way. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm showing this part, but my mom's showing the nose and actually straighten it out a little bit. All right, guys. After like a kajillion days later, my mom fixed the uh, soda's nose together. So now he looks like this, and I think it straightened his nose a little bit. He's still a little crooked, but I don't judge. So, I'm gonna finish brushing him again. And between us also, my cat threw up on him, so that was great. <laughs> but, and then we're gonna do the airbrushing, so. I'll get back to you. We pulled up a Bernie's Mountain Dog photo, and we're gonna do the airbrushing, which I call the star around his nose. That little thing. I call it the star. And some on his mouth, and that's it. So we're gonna try to do that and uh, see what happens. So I think this is the best I can do for him. It's not the best, but I don't know if I can. So this is Jason, the Bernie's Mountain Dog. Um, I am actually so proud how he turned out. And I hope this helped anybody who has any um. They want to refurbish mainly their signatures i hope this helps i hope y'all see the progress like i do and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one my door cracked Tingle. i also just want to show this is the before and after picture before it's what the seller showed and then after is what i've done so i hope you guys enjoy and i hope this helps thank you so much bye